Andy Farm Guy here, and this is the Fiat Agri Series 90 by Edmund and CR82 on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Fox Farm Map for this demonstration. It is 38.57 megabytes to download, 20 slots on console. It's under vehicles and medium tractors. And there it is, $33,500, so very cheap base price, up to 180, 60 to 180 horsepower, manual power shift transmission, 280 liters of fuel, 21 mile per hour max speed, 7.2 tons, all very good. Engines, we have the 160 or the 180. <clears throat> Both are listed as turbo. Um, however, we'll kind of talk about that in a moment. Um, eight grand for the 180 horsepower. Wheel brands, Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Vertistein, and Trelleborg. Um, Trelleborg is the only one you can change the styles or the wheel setup. So let's just look at that. All the rest are as is in Trelleborg. We have standard, we have rear narrow twin, nice, or a narrow twin all around, which I have one to demonstrate kind of neat. I don't see that too often. So we have mechanical back arms, which is three-point link or a hydraulic three-point link. They will both work identical as far as I know. Now, exhaust configurations. Low air filter. We have a tall or high air filter. We have hair, fil hair filter, air, high air filter too, which looks like some kind of emissions thing going on. And then we have totally non-emissions friendly chrome exhaust with low air filter and then with high air filter. And then back to the standard. So 100 bucks is the most you're going to get charged. Uh, this is the one I kind of prefer, but this is also neat with the, um, the rain cap type flip flap top. Fenders, no fenders. We have front fenders. We have no front fender. We have only backside fenders, no backside fenders, no wheel guard, all fenders, and then no fenders. So if that's confusing, welcome to the club. Left beacon, right beacon, no beacons or all beacons. Weight holder, so that's basically no weight. We have front weight, front weight with antennae, And then a weight holder. So with antenna, I don't think it's actually an antenna. It's, I think it's more of a, um, yeah, whatever, a pole thingy. And then license plate. So um, they're both the same. Let's get our help window on. There we go. Hop in. Interior, start it up. It sounds pretty good. The, uh, the dashboard, it looks good. Uh, let's see what's oh there's the uh, there's the gear shift it's all very black and dark in here which I'm sure is well proper now we got signals we got beacons we got lights the lights are y y bright though yellow but bright so very nice um, the sound is great the horn is not so great uh, L1 and right stick left and right is our back window with sound effects too. Nice. Uh, R1 right and left is your roof vent and L1 uh, oil one and R1 and right stick is your left side door. And that's it for um, things you can move around. Uh, let's go for a drive. The the, the the vehicle sound is really nice, I think. Although this one you don't Maybe a tad uh, turbo. I don't really hear much turbo whine on this one. Maybe a tad when you're decelerating. So, performance. 
This is a 160 horsepower rated base game cultivator. Absolutely no problem getting this up to speed. I do love the black smoke. Very nice. Uh, the engine sounds are really nice on this one, I, I must say. Um, right, so moving on to that. And this is just the base model with no options or anything, the 160 horsepower. So let's move on. Let's turn that off and hop in. This is, I don't think the interior is any different. Let's start it up. So it sounds pretty standard here. Let's. There's the turbo wine. Sounds really good. Uh, let's just try it out a little bit in the field under load here. Uh, everything works really good. The transmission shifting, the sounds, the power. Let's hire a worker and just kind of listen. Um, really nice. Not too loud, at least I don't think it's too loud. The turbo wine is just right for my liking anyways. It perhaps could get annoying. I don't know. Um, I got my engine sound turned right up, so you can always adjust that. But power is right there. This is a 180 horsepower cultivator and uh, no problems whatsoever. Shifting was really nice from a standstill it really didn't hesitate or anything at all so we'll just show you that one more time and right away it I mean it just the, the shift lag a l just slightly but that's normal um, yeah no problems whatsoever works really good the only thing the only thing I wish you would have seen on this is a front loader option perhaps a three-point link on the front but it probably didn't come with those things so if this is a um, a replication of an actual tractor then I, which I believe it probably is, um, perhaps it did not come with a front loader. I do not know, but uh, those are the things that would be nice to see uh, if possible. Anyways, there you have it, the Fiat Agri Series 90 by Edmund and CR82, or they could be one person, I'm not sure. Uh, 38.57 megabytes on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching, and remember... It's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.